Hi there, students. Fraught. Fraught is an adjective, or we use it as an adjective nowadays, meaning full of, laden with, and normally something bad. So, um, the project was fraught with danger. Um, it was uh, a process that is fraught with difficulties. It's fraught with complexities that are not easy to resolve. So, full of and nearly always unpleasant things such as problems or dangers. But you could use it um, for things that are not negative. Um, I don't know, maybe he was fraught with energy. You could, but normally fraught, it's something that's dangerous. The essay was fraught with errors. Um, so full of, full of something bad. And then we also use fraught talking about um, emotional distress and tension, a stressful situation. So they had a very fraught relationship, very tense, very difficult. Yeah, Their relationship was fraught with tensions, but fraught, either full of or um, describing a tense and unpleasant, uneasy situation. Okay, so fraught with, charged with, um, I guess, yeah, an evening fraught with high drama. Yeah, um, this, uh, this trip is fraught with unseen perils. Um, I was fraught, and this is the other meaning, after a hard day's work. So normally either fraught with, full of negative things, charged with, um, uh, accompanied by, laden with, heavy with, replete with, yeah? So, um... The project has been fraught with problems ever since it started. And then the other meaning, emotionally charged, trying, distressing. It's been a very fraught day and I need to sit down and relax for a few minutes. Um, things got a bit fraught during the negotiation and at one point I thought they were going to hit each other. Yeah, um, but it's a situation or a negotiation fraught with difficulties, fraught with danger, fraught with problems, uh, f fraught with all sorts of unseen hazards. Okay, so fraught as an adjective. I don't think it has an adverb to go with it. I wouldn't say fraughtly. Um, next question, how formal is this word fraught, fraught with? I would probably give it a 6 in formality, maybe 5.5. I think you could use it more or less anywhere, but it tends a little bit towards the literary or more formal side. Yeah, full of, charged with, tense, something like that. And then as to origin, well, it comes from the Middle Dutch word vrachten, yeah, or Middle Low German vracht, um, which talks about freight money. Now, in the past, fraught was, I, was a noun meaning freight or goods in transport, and to fraught a boat, to, to load a ship. But those are um, obsolete meanings nowadays, and we really don't use them. But money for freight. So I guess if you're transporting things, maybe you're uh, a little bit 
uh, worried or yeah the, well, the ship is loaded and then the problem bit has been added okay so fraught with difficulty fraught with problems full of unpleasant things a fraught situation a tense unpleasant difficult situation yeah english is fraught with pitfalls to make the to get the learner to make mistakes if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now fraught fraught with